Hey folks, this is Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivalist and in this case replying to a question that I got through Instagram. Fairfield 308 is my Instagram. If you want to follow me, it's linked over there. Same as my books. The links are going to be down below for Amazon for Street Survival Skills, Surviving the Economic Collapse and Bugging Out and Relocating. As well as my other channels. I have a Spanish channel if you want to practice a little bit of your Spanish and a movies and video games channel as well, which I'm slowly trying to grow. So anyway, in terms of questions that I get through Instagram, please understand I cannot reply to all of them because it's just impossible but every once in a while I check them and see what people are asking about one of the questions that I'm getting quite a bit about is uh, Manuron MR73 revolvers and the MR88 I don't have an MR88 which is the one you saw on the thumbnail I am familiar with the gun and therefore can give a bit of advice regarding you know how good is it or not so I got several regarding uh, is it the same is it worth it or not um, is the MR73 um, you know worth how much they're asking for? Uh, someone specifically was asking about the MR88, and he was being asked uh, fifteen hundred dollars, which is a lot of money. So. Is it worth it or not? Well, it's really up to you. I can only say this. Whatever is coming out of Chapuis these days is excellent top-notch quality. And I'm talking about uh, up there. Specifically, the MR73s are still made to the highest standard. I saw some people complain about certain things. There's a couple videos about, I don't know what each one of us does with their own guns. I can only say that based on the knowledge that I have, it's still probably the best revolver that is currently being made and certainly these were back in the day the best revolvers ever made at least in my opinion the court is very close to that but it lacks the legacy the the pedigree of the mr73 as being made specifically for a very elite um, tactical group okay and that shows in a little bit of the details that you can appreciate from them now specifically about the MR88 it was made always as a more affordable version of the MR73 the MR73 was specifically requested by GIGN the anti-terrorist French unit that wanted a revolver that would take the amount of abuse that no other revolver made at that time could take and when I say at the time same applies to today. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of rounds without the frame you know, stretching it to the point where it was no longer accurate, at least to their standards. And whatever you can think of, unless it's this specific gun or maybe even the Korth, those would be the only ones that are made out of specifically hard tool steel that chews up machinery, cutting bits, and all of that stuff that just doesn't make it financially worth it for manufacturers to produce. Even it applies to guns like this one, like the legendary Colt Python, which a lot of people consider the finest revolver ever made. I certainly think it's maybe the most beautiful revolver ever made, but it's not the strongest or even the more accurate one. This one is you know, holding that position. Now, when they realized how expensive these were to make, and you can still buy them to make today, Chapuis is still operating, it was purchased by Beretta, and it has to be said, the European Union financed this, so it's quite cool that they, even them, appreciated the, you know, the legacy of something that is of a, of a bygone era, and fortunately still in production. I hope it's still the case for many years to come. Now, some will say that it's not the same standards, everything that I've seen so far, it points towards, yeah, there, I mean, I understand that something could have been different when they changed uh, from one company, from Manuron to Chapuis, and then when it was later purchased by Beretta. I have a very hard time thinking that Beretta will sacrifice the quality of, of Chapuis and the revolvers they make. But current production, MR73 and MR88, both are still being made. Now, when um, they first started making the MR73, given how expensive it was, they understood that for your average officer, maybe even for the French, this was just too much. It was ridiculous to make a what not two thousand dollar revolver for a cop. So they went with the MR88, which is based on the Ruger Security Six frame. Those first uh, MR88s from 1979 to 1981, the frame and the lockwork from you know, the internal lock work was made by Ruger in the United States. So at the very least, you're talking about a gun that has the quality of a Ruger Security 6 and beyond because the, 
the, the cylinders and the barrels were still made in France. And yeah, you know, I'm not a snob, but I will quickly uh, make the assumption that those barrels are better and more accurate than whatever Ruger was making. It's simply a standard by which they were working on. Um, Maybe you know it's it's um, you can't tell the difference, but that's a, a pretty safe assumption to make. But in general, I would say MR88 as good as your Ruger Security Six, probably better. Um, and after 1981, everything was made in France. So I, I suppose the the standard was was held to that, or even better. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, depends how much you're paying, as always. Uh, these guns currently go for 2,000 bucks if you're buying them new. If you're buying some of the older models, such as these ones, in this kind of condition, it's probably worth even more because you're looking at the collector value of some of these guns. Uh, and there's always that thing about, yeah, we liked it better when it was made by Manu Ron, uh, before Chapuis, before Beretta. Now, in terms of quality, you know, with current manufacturing standards and the current technology available, I assume that they're just as good as they were before, but you're talking about something different. You're talking about collector's va value. You're talking about the nostalgia and about those things that are not always directly linked to the you know, specific quality that you're getting in manufacturing. Um, I, I would say that if you're buying an MR73, uh, an old MR73, don't pay a thousand bucks for a surplus MR73 that started its life in France, then it ended up in Cobra in Austria with their uh, anti-terrorist unit, and then it was sent to South, uh, freaking South Africa for another 100,000 rounds to be fired. Yes, the gun can't take it, that's why it's so legendary, but the general wear and tear condition, I mean, how many hundreds of thousands of rounds? can you put through a gun until it starts losing value you know if you get it for 500 bucks and you test it and it shoots accurately nice good now uh, someone was asking me about an MR88 in use condition for uh, 1500 bucks I think that's a little bit too expensive but you know that's on you if you find it in ex an excellent condition and you like it and you can afford it I would probably buy it over your Ruger you know even depending on the Smith & Wesson that you're talking specifically would I pay that over an old uh, model 29 and 44 Magnum no because personally for me I feel that the uh, Smith uh, M29 um, in, in certain specific models it's worth that money and maybe even more so I wouldn't pay that on an MR88. Now, current production MR88 at the uh, new price tag, I, I think is probably a, a, an excellent gun. If you buy a used new model of the MR88 or even the MR73 for a little bit less of what the price is going right now, yeah, absolutely. But again, condition, condition, condition. As always, when you're looking at collectibles, that's what you want to look at. Now, when you're looking at, oh, I just want a functional 357 Magnum, well, maybe you don't even consider any of this stuff which is ridiculously more expensive than you what you should be paying for a gun that is perfectly capable of shooting 357 Magnum downrange accurately so in a reliable platform but as always that extra twist if you want the finest of the finest the best of the best this is where I mean I clearly believe that because I got two of these, right, instead of buying anything else. And for me, the, the Python was more about, no, it's not going to be better than my uh, MR73, but I just freaking like the way it looks, and I think it's a damn cool gun. And 99 of you watching this probably agree with me as well. Uh, but yeah, this is probably what you're looking at. Good news, still being produced, still being sold, both the MR73 and the MR88. I'll also leave the links there below. I have no relationship with them whatsoever. I sell my books, my stuff, and so on, but no connection with them. I just think it's a damn fine firearm. Folks, as always, subscribe to the channel, share. See you on the next one. Take care.